Welcome back to the Sky River Cantina with Zane Rose and Dan the Man. We're here to talk about the force, everything force between the cosmic force and the living force and everything in between. What what do you have first on the topic? So I was watching a little short YouTube video about when George Lucas was talking about the force and everything. Yeah. And the whole the the whole um, well no like Okay, so the thing is, is he basically based it on the concept of, you know, when you're a good person, you're charitable, you help people, you know, you feel good, you, you do, you live that, that life. You usually don't get to have things right away. Yeah. You got to work for them and earn them and everything. But in the end, you have a happier life in the end of it. You got friends, everything like that. You're more at peace. You've accomplished your goals and everything, and done a good good thing in the in the world. The dark side is the shortcut. You know, you can get what you want really fast with the dark side, but then you always want more. Yeah, there are consequences. So then you always want more, and 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 then you end up like. Like, I mean, the old Conan, like, movies and, sh- and shit. Like, he eventually became king, but then he was sitting on his throne and was unhappy because he got everything he wanted, but he didn't have everything that he wanted. He lost the things that he wanted along the way as well. Yeah. That's what the dark side does, is eventually somebody else is going to come along and kill you horribly for the same stuff because you have that fear you 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 get all this stuff you collect all this stuff as much as you can it's a selfish thing of wanting all your all this stuff and then you you have it and then you're afraid that other people are going to try to take it and so then you start needing to have more power more control more everything to crush the people that are going to try to take it yeah and it causes you to eventually you reach the point where you're either going to have to kill like everybody or you reach the point where you um, manage to pull it off and nobody bothers you but eventually somebody kills you no matter what eventually somebody kills you the light side you know doesn't have it that way but I also found out just a quick little thing in the entirety of the first six movies you will never hear them say the light side of the force. They don't. I, I watched a video on it. No. It is only the force and the dark side of the force. They never actually say the light side of the force. Because I found out that if you actually live in perfect balance with the force... You know how he was talking about, you know, the light side and the dark side and being in perfect balance? Yeah. Well, if you actually live in the perfect balance of the Force, then you will... um, The dark side is actually a corruption of the Force. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. It's a corruption of the Force. It's necessary so that... Basically, so that people know what... The good path is. That's kind of well, you gotta have the bad. Were. You gotta have the bad to have the good. But well, one of my questions was: was is it balanced to have the good and the bad, or is it balanced just to have the good side of the force? The balance is supposed to be just the good side of the force because it's not actually supposed to be just. It's not actually supposed to be viewed as the good side. It's actually just supposed to be viewed as the force. All of living and everything is within the force, and you're just part of the force. Yeah, being one force. and balanced and at peace and everything with the force and everything around you. Okay, it's not actually supposed to be the light side and the dark side. It's just supposed to be the force and the dark side, the corruption of it. Yeah, and the reason why you got to have the corruption is so that way you know like what the right path is because if you don't have bad you can't know what the correct is you know yeah and just like if you don't have good you can't know what the bad is 
So, I mean, life could be completely and utterly bad, and you'd never know it was bad if there was never any good thing that happened for you to realize that there's a difference. Yeah, there needs to <laughs> contrast for that. So there is, does have to be a balance a bit between the light and the dark, but it wasn't like how we thought it was. Like, the actual bringing balance to the Force is getting people and everything balance it actually is removing the city well that's how it was at the beginning when the force like started to sprout in the galaxy yeah it was just the force and then it kind of just became two sides but yeah i found out that i seen the video on it that it's not it's not called the light side of the force it's never actually even really mentioned other than it's just called the force the dark side is the one that's always referenced I thought that was kind of neat because somebody had went through and looked and there was never a reference in any of it about the light side of the force. Hmm. Well, with the Jedi, they don't go from... Because the Sith, they bend the force to their will. That's their whole mentality. And the Jedi, they use the force on what they need. What they need in a more open asset to like life itself instead of the Sith just using it for personal gain so I could see the kind of the equal equilibrium of just the good being but the, the reason why he made it was because he was basically playing at that the light side or the, the force as it is with the Jedi is the way that we're all supposed to be. We're all supposed to be good to our our our, uh, our fellow man. We're all supposed to have compassion. We're all supposed to help. We're all supposed to, you know, we're supposed to be that good, that balance, that at peace. That as not, they say. That's what we're all supposed to be. As they say. Like, that is, like, the way it's supposed to be. But, the dark side comes in and corrupts. Uh, my mindset is survival of the fittest. <laughs> yeah, you know? but I mean, the point The point is is that that's the point he was trying to make, is when you are that way, people generally feel good about themselves and feel good about everybody around them. But then when you have the dark side and the selfishness, then you don't feel good. You're angry. And he quite literally, the way he stated it, is exactly how it is with the Force in the movie. But he's literally not even talking about the Force. He's talking about in real life. When you're selfish, you want to possess things, you take things, and you try to hang on to it. And you're afraid somebody's going to take it from you. Yeah. And that fear turns into anger. Because you're angry that people are trying to take what belongs to you, that you work for, that it's all yours, and you're afraid, and then you have to, you get angry. Yeah, everything is a and leading then, path to the dark side. And then the anger, because now you're angry at everybody and everything, because you're afraid that they're all trying to take from, from you, then you begin to hate them. And this is an actual breakdown of exactly how it happens when you have selfish people that try to gain and take and steal and and they think everything belongs to them. It's an exact breakdown of that. Well, some it's, people, and, they go to the dark side for unselfish reasons. Like Anakin mm -hmm. trying to say Padme. No, he explains how Anakin was doing the exact Thing. Well, I should say Sa Senator Amidala. I can't say Padme. We're not friends. She probably like give me a fine for that. But the the thing is, is he breaks it down. Is that as a Jedi, you are supposed to be able to love. You can you can love people. Yeah. You know, but you can't possess them. You so you can't. That's the reason why they wouldn't allow them to get married. Is because that's a type of possession. That is your wife. That is your husband. That's a possession to it. Yeah, well, okay. the, one so, of the misconceptions uh, about the Jedi saying you can't have, like, feelings. Like, you can have feelings, but you need to control them. You need to know, like, 
the balance between like life and death, you know? Like you can love somebody, but if they die, you have to know like, yeah, their death was necessary because life and death. You can't be consumed over the loss because that's what you're saying, possession. Yeah, you can't you can't possess them. Because everybody okay, so is in a... so Anakin loved Padme and wanted to possess her. Yeah. As his wife. And so he made her his wife. Well, now that's what he has. Yeah. Well, then he starts having the dreams if he's going to lose her. Because that's, that's his fear. wife in his head. That's his, his wife. wife. My wife. Yeah. And that fear in his head made him angry that how do I stop this what's trying to kill her he starts getting angry and then he realizes that he, he begins to hate the the people around him because if he goes to the Jedi they're gonna kick him out and he you know he, he doesn't know for sure how he should deal with the Chancellor for Paul Patine and then finally you know all that happens at the end and he 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 hates he, he hates the Jedi because the Jedi were going to take away the one thing that could possibly save Padme his wife that he's doing all this shit for and he then um, begins to slaughter them and everything but remember how I said about you have the fear, the anger, the hate and you have that quick route to try to do it and save and whatever else and possess your things yeah. and then you still end up not getting what you want because Anakin did all that, turned evil killed all the younglings and everything else Padme found out and Padme did not want anything to do with him anymore and so he lost Padme anyway yeah. because of his own actions yeah that happens with people all the time he just got blinded with the rage he just couldn't see the outcome of what he was doing but yeah that's the that's the whole thing with with that like just literally because he was talking about it and everything fits with regular stuff and he just made it into the force where they could have powers in star wars and but well, everybody in the Star Wars galaxy does have some sort of midichlorian count in them. Yeah, about that. So everybody could technically use the Force if they really put their mind to it. Yep. Yeah, he even said that. While filming his videos, his movies, back in the day, the first three. You know, not, not one, two, and three. I mean, four, five, and six. Yeah. Yeah. He apparently was on a shoot, or maybe it was with uh, Jar. Maybe it was with one, two, and three. But um, he actually was having a conversation with somebody. He's like, "No, everybody can use the Force. Yeah, everybody can use the Force. It's just that to be able to do that, you have to take the time. Yeah, the to time use and the patience, force. and you have to actually open yourself up to the Force." Yeah, he was like, everybody can use the Force. Just like, because he's basing it off of, like, religion. Like, everybody can believe and pray to whatever God. You know, yeah. it doesn't matter what religion, but can believe and pray and feel that stuff from that faith, right? Feel that way about the faith. Feel that good. Feel all that. Or feel all the anger and the hate because of some other faith or whatever, right? doesn't matter. He's basing it as a religion. It's not the Jedi way. It's the Jedi. It's it's the the way of the Force, the the faith, the religion of the Force. Yeah, Metaclorians. But everybody in the Star Wars galaxy, he said, can use the Force. And um, it's just that, are you going to take the time to actually? figure out how to use it a lot of people won't yeah but you know speaking on the uh actually the duality between the light and the dark between the force abilities we do have the lightning and we do have the force judgment which is ultimately the same thing the force lightning is for a sith and it's more powerful 
because it's not using like hatred it's using what is it using judgment passionate judgment oh force lightning that's straight up no uh the good one I just said it for Plukun force judgment yeah yeah that because force lightning comes from hate where does a force judgment come from? Just judgment? Probably. Because it's not as strong as the lightning. But also, if you get too corrupted into the dark side, it will. Righteous? It will righteousness? Righteous anger? I don't know. I don't know, you're the one that knows about force judgment. Like, I don't know. You can't, you can't have anger in it if you're a Jedi. You can't have any emotional white in There's called righteous. That's like what I just told you about. Remember what I told you about the Wookiees and their Wookiee rage? They actually tap into the force when they Wookiee rage. And that yeah, force that's... actually gives them the power. And fits force that's rage. Wookie, though. That's a it's, whole different yeah, thing. Yeah, but it's force rage. It's the dark side power of force rage. But they use it with the regular force because if you make a Wookiee angry enough to force rage, you had it coming. Yeah, but aren't like the, you deserved it. Aren't the Wookiees <laughs> the only one that could use force rage, though? Like that, I think so. They can use force rage without, like... They don't get any bad side or good side points for it or nothing. It's just the force rage. It's they don't get any any repercussions because of it. Yeah, I guess it's just the the way of the force on how they're dealing with the force, I suppose. Yeah. They got uh, another one that not a lot of people know about is the the thought bomb. Which was, I think, only twice it occurred. From Darth Revan used the thought bomb and fuck, what's his name? I forgot the other guy's name. Who was the leader of the Sith Brothers? But he used the thought bomb too to wipe out the Sith and the Jedi in their whole word dispute. Do you have any other abilities about force? Oh, they got telekinesis, which is a moving objects. They got Jedi mind trick. Well, there's more than just uh, Jedi mind trick. You have Jedi mind trick, and then you have Jedi. I know there's another one. There's there's, for... there's three. Because there's the Jedi mind trick, the Jedi something else, and the, the other one. And so what the one is, I cannot remember the names of them. I watched the video once. I'm tired. I'm sorry. But um, the what the what the difference is is okay. So like Jedi mind trick is the standard. Then the other one is like oh it's a force suggestion. The second one's force suggestion. Because Jedi Mind Trick is the main one, and that's the one that you just, you know, you yeah. really use. And then you have Force Suggestion, where you just make a, it's like a gentle suggestion to do something. Instead of actually, like, tricking them into doing it. Um, yeah. But when you use Trick, if you're using the Trick, you're generally not using the Trick, and it's going to cause anybody any harm. And Force Suggestion isn't meant to get any harm. But then, like, the um, Sith, they have another version of it that's... Um, to the opposite end. So, like, four suggestions, light, Jedi mind tricks, normal. And then the other one, and I don't remember the name of it, is the drastic one, where basically they can Jedi mind trick you to freaking commit suicide. Like, literally, you'll blast the, the Dura Steel out of the freaking thing and jump out of a building and kill yourself. Or shoot yourself in the face, or whatever like they can get you to do anything against your will or 
take down like the whole squad around you, but you will think it's your will to do it. And you will go hardcore on it. That would kind of suck. Yeah. Yeah. Just imagine going through trees. You have the thought just kill everybody and shoot everybody down. And the thought just dissipates. What did I do? I just shot down my whole squadron. Yeah, probably. Um, shoot, there's a... There's like a forced gaze that like melts your face. Oh, yeah. I, uh... Uh, I don't remember. But I heard like, about that. I know Count Dooku has a force gaze type thing like that, but it's not. It's more like, uh... Lord Tyr Tyrannus, he has a more uh, territorial gaze, I, I suppose. Like when he looks at you, you'll be more terrified, fearful. What? Yeah, no, this was. Uh... Oh, but what I was talking to you about earlier about them using the force to not eat and I thought they could literally like just survive off the force but that's not true you can survive off of it for some time but you still need to eat like the force will just keep you going for a amount of time but your body still needs actual nutrition and fuel to keep going And the Chlorians, they're part of the force. They're in plants, planets, people, everything. Like how they would refer to God in the Bible is kind of what the force would be. Without any depiction of good and evil, it's just the force. You looking up something? You got anything else about force? Um, I'm actually gonna look up something here. Uh, because I got the volume off on this thing. We can actually... Oh, okay, hold on. Let me save that to watch later. Let me see, I need that. Okay. And even if you do have a high midichlorian count, that doesn't mean that you're strong as fuck. It does mean you're strong, but you need to also master the technique on how to use it in order to actually use it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what he was saying, is that everybody can use the force, but like when who's they... going to take the time... To use the force. Like when they said that Anakin had a higher metachlorine count than Yoda. And people would say that then Anakin could defeat Yoda. No, Yoda has been training for years. He knows. Anakin could beat Yoda if he if trained, Anakin for it. trained for it. But they're just saying from the metachlorine count level. And that wouldn't be true because... I mean, if both of them metachlorian, metachlorian count level, both of them have the same level of experience, Anakin will win. Yeah. But you need that experience to actually know what you're doing with the Force. Like, Yoda knows exactly what he's doing with the Force without hesitation. There we go. There's the one I'm looking for. Anakin in... All three of the movies has been struggling with the Force. So he's not that equipped to be fighting. Yoda there's on that 54 ability. force abilities. Yeah, and there's also uh, force tele teleportation, as seen in The Rise of Skywalker, I think. Yeah, The Rise of Skywalker with the lightsaber, and also Kylo. Force awareness. That's the one where you can sense 
reach out and sense things. Yeah, that's that's the, what lets you be able to detect a blaster bolt coming. Yeah, that's, that's what like lets the, you sense a, a bug crawling in on your future like first, wife's bed. That's the first like senses that you get though. Once yes, you but it is a force. It is a force power. Yeah, it's the one that lets you sense and reach out. It's then the your force one. telekinesis is your they your hovering rocks and all that shit. Yeah, you know hovering rocks and yourself. And honestly, if they have anything under their feet, could they fly? If they are moving the thing under their feet with the force, could they fly? Enhance the last... The last uh, uh, enhanced a lot. Fuck, I can't get it out. Do you think they could fly? Athletics. Damn. I mean, I don't know why they couldn't fly. Controlled descent, for crying out loud. Yeah, yeah, but that's more for like. I just, but I don't know why. Technically, I don't understand why they wouldn't be able to fly. Mind trick. Mind tricks don't work on me. Uh, uh, yeah, that only works for the stupid minded. There are some races that just don't work on because of the way their mind works. It's too. It's weird. Yeah, unlike some races would have telepathy. See, and there's the one where he threw it out. So I need to. Then you got Mind Probe. Yeah, the one that you can. Kylo uses. Yeah, and you can extract stuff from people's minds. That would be kind of terrifying. Death, some, some, somebody just digging in your head, seeing all your thoughts. Force telepathy. That's the one where you're talking back and forth. Oh, you know how oh, like, yeah. Luke reaches out, Leia, Leia, yeah. and like Qui Gon with Yoda, and all that. That happens quite a lot in Star Wars, and it helps with your blind, your blind. Yeah, it helps with your senses, keeps you more aware and in tune with your surroundings. Force lightning. Uh, no, uh, they said Palpatine was strong enough in the Force Lightning to take down, like, whole planets. With his lightning. Yeah, there's something about the Force Lightning that I want to talk about. And you, you c kind of thought beast that... Beast control, so you can use the Force to control beasts. Yeah, that's a good one. Ray kind of did that. Anakin did that. Psychometry? I don't know. Psychometry? Did, did she learn? It's got to do yeah, with the droids. You can use the force to control droids, it looks like. That kind of doesn't make any sense. Or something. I don't know. I'm not going to turn the volume minds. up because we don't want to do, you know. Yeah, copyright infringement. Or however the law wants to word it. But for some reason, it doesn't have the caption. Force listening. So that's the one you can actually use the force to listen through things and at long distances and hear stuff. In the uh, book I'm listening to, he can determine how many people, like... Uh, precognition. Precognition, you know, the thing that made freaking Anakin turn Sith because... He believed in that Padme was going to die. Force Visions. Oh, that's actually the one for that. The Force Visions is the one for seeing it. Damn, you said something now I totally forgot what I was saying. Uh, well, you know, we're just going through stuff. You can keep talking, though. I'll pull up the next name when we get to it. No, but yeah, Darth Bane. He knew how many people were in the group and force stuff. How strong they were in the force and what sex they were. Which I thought that was mind boggling. Like, how could you, d you determine that? Like, the force is more feminine in this one. Would that, would that, is that how it would work? I don't know. Shatter point. Oh yeah, that's when you can like really good with a weapon, huh? 
But the gun? I mean... Weapon. No. No? I thought it was. I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to listen to this to be able to find out. Force speed. We've seen that. Once. Once. And that's the one and that they only show right there. In the Phantom Menace. Boom! When they fucking speed off. They don't use it at all. I guess they kind of do in the Clone Wars. But that's about it. And that just seems a lot faster than force it would be in the Force projection. And that's what Luke did. Yeah. And he force ghosted. He force projected himself. And it could be where if you use it too much, you can die because you can consume all your force life energy. Yeah. Whatever. You guys just suck. You wanted to kill I, Luke I, off I can because see you that, already though. killed Han and Leia was already dead because Carrie Fisher died. So you guys just wanted to do that crap. I could see it, though. If you use it too Force much. barrier. And he was using that shit for a long-ass time, too. Force barrier. Yeah, that's to protect yourself from... Barrier. You and the other people. Toxins, toxins that they would for, like... Force orb. I don't think they had that in Phantom Menace, huh? I think they just Hold had, on. like... Hold on, I need to see this. A mask or something. I Force. knew it. Yeah. It's a comic comic, huh? <laughs> Force yeah. healing. Force healing. Force orb. There's a spell in D&D called force orb, and you create a freaking orb of force about this big, about the size of a, like a grapefruit, and you throw it at things. Is that what uh, Yoda Force had? deflection. Pew, 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 Oh, no, I guess that's what Yoda was doing. Yeah. Force deflections when you're blocking. That's the Yoda. Force. Yeah, or you pull it in. Like, yeah, sucking in the light. Force lightning. stasis. Ah, Force stasis is when, that's you, when you freeze the stuff. When you, that's, yeah, what, that's when Kylo people. Ren did. He froze the thing. Yeah, but also Cal Kestis freezing Force people. Shiver. You know how yeah, weird so. that would be? To be slowed down in time, but everything else is moving normally? Do you know how weird that would be? So? So... That's, that's weird for the person that it's happening to. Yeah. But they're generally about to die, so it doesn't matter. Well, it's, it's sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Battle meditation. <laughs> I'm going to meditate. Do In stuff. battle. Yeah. That doesn't seem very effective at all. Force meld. What is that? When they're, no, the wait, they're all surrounding they're all surrounding oh, they're melding their force powers together to make themselves make so them like the stronger. thinking bomb I don't know and they're, they're, they're surrounded Yoda wayfinding yeah this one I guess you can figure out where people are through the force yeah I guess well no they couldn't do that with Luke he took himself <laughs> off dark aura that's one's dark aura. I think that's it's just a power a video that looks game. like it appeared in a video game. Yeah, yeah, I think that's just a video game thing. But I think Sith I also... alchemy, but he's doing all the force powers like. So Sith alchemy, he's using the force lightning and he's brewing stuff up, and they're doing. Well, things. yeah, that's kind of like witchcraft, though, like Sith witchcraft. Yeah, pretty much. I, I mean, that's that kind of what like weird. the uh, force scream apparently. <laughs> You terrify people, apparently. Yeah, you do that loud enough, you know, you can kill people, I guess. Explode the eardrums. Mm -hmm. Shatter glass. Oh, this is showing, like, when Vader come off of the deal and... I thought uh, he was just using the force, and it wasn't just a scream. He was just using the force to, like, crush everything. Was, I guess it was, um, the... I guess it was a little more than that. Fucking doubt it. What does this guy know? <laughs> I don't know. Force bond. That's the only example they show in the movies. Is that's Ray and Kylo. I thought they had like at least two other ones. Like Force in endure. 
Yeah, you can endure pain. Yeah. Pyrokinesis. Oh, yeah. So you could just set stuff on fire? Yeah, who wants to use force lightning when you use fire? Like, I'm doing fire. Uh, no, lightning just seems cooler. Kyber bleeding. That's when you can change the crystal to bleed to red to make the Sith, Sith saber. Kyber purification. That's to transfer the crystal back to the light side. Which crystals are kind of weird on how they developed with the force and the people will, willing them to. Oh yes, they look like some samurai. Alter environment. Interesting. Yes, yes, we're gonna use some force and do some, do some. Yeah, uh, they Gandalf shit. Metamorphosis. They. Yeah, I think that's only for the. The Mortar guy. Uh, Memory Rob? I think it said Memory Rob. Well, that's sort of like what Kylo Ren had the Force uh, Extract. Whatever you said. Uh, Good old Vaber. I'm seeing some things. I didn't get to finish watching some of this stuff. Force empathy. That's when you can, like, sense people's emotions and, like, things like that and help manipulate them. Like what Palpatine was doing to Anakin and a bunch of other ones. Yeah, he's very sly. <laughs> Deadly sight. That's the one. That's the one where you can melt people's faces by staring at them. With the... With the, with the I would kind of want that power. The evil you know. eye. I would have called it. And the only one like where it really brings it up is, I guess, this chick here, and I don't remember her name. Force rage. Oh well, we all know that Kylo Ren and Granddaddy Vader both got force rage. Fucking yeah. It's just that Granddaddy Vader did it cooler. <laughs> yeah. Kylo Ren. Well, I want to say he's more angry than Vader. Cause but like Vader's fucking always. Pissed. Vader's pissed. <laughs> he's always on top tier of just. Blowing Pissed. up. He's always like, say like, like, like this. It's like this, like how like the Hulk, like in the movie, the Avengers or whatever, the Hulk, and he's like Force Ghost. Yeah, but Force Ghost would it is a Force power. You have to yeah, learn but how to it do would it. it goes counterpart with the other person receiving the ghost. No, oh, they can like totally just like appear, chill on their own, and yeah, but else. if they have. The force sensitive person appearing to them, like in the when Luke, he only could hear Obi Wan. Essence transfer. That's what Palpatine was trying to do. Yeah, but that's what uh, in Star Wars, Luke only could hear Obi Wan's voice. But then in Empire, he got to see him just a little bit. And then the last movie, you got to see him like he was actually there because his he was being more in tune with the Force, which made him more presentable. In the second the one, in the second one, Obi Wan sits down on Dagobah and talks to Luke. Yeah, because he was he uh, got trained by Yoda to be more in tune with the Force. Like it levels up. The more you know about the Force, the more to But all, that's all about the cosmic and the living. And force cloak. That's the one. I'm pretty sure where you like you, you, you make it where you can't sense yet. Well, yeah, you could you could hide in a crowd, and you would just blend in. Blend in, disappear, never to be seen again. Yeah, that's more. Of, this one here is that's that, kind of like both sides of the Force. Force something. I would say it's more dark side because. It's a force. Why the fuck are Jedi hiding? They shouldn't be hiding. They should be like, yeah, we're here. We're Jedi. We're good people. Sith should be hiding. And that's, that's what they do. It would be so awesome to have an X-Wing. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> do, you, do, you know, do you know how to fly a, anything? Yeah, I can fly a plane. Yeah? Land that damn thing is a little bit more difficult. But you see, an X-Wing, an X-Wing has repulsor lifts. 
You see, so you come in and you actually just, and then yeah, upper, just and it just bring it right on down, easy as pie. And you know what? Even if and if you're a little worried about it, if you're a little worried about it, you got an R2 unit in so the thing that can to, land the ship for you. So you want them to invent the X-wing, but you also want them to invent an R2 unit. I think the R2 unit would be this more thing is dang. Too. This thing is dang near almost as fancy as an R2 unit. It's just don't run around and bleep and squeak at you. I guess so. <laughs> but it the might AI even be a little intelligence more. and whatnot that comes with it. I mean, it's got some AI in it. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. But... You said you wanted to touch on more about the Force Lightning? Um, oh, yeah. So, the Force Lightning. Um, you see how that works? Is that actually the reason? I mean, you see it on Palpatine when he's using it. His face is getting more, like, screwed up. Yeah. That's because Force Lightning actually does corrupt your flesh and actually does physically weaken you to use it. And will actually kill you if you use it too much. Yeah. And like, okay, in the game, it's basically giving you like con drain. Like when you use force lightning too much, you end up having to do a roll to take con drain. Not con damage. Con damage is something like you get super fatigued, wore out, whatever. Get kind of injured. You got to rest for a while and recoup and get then, you know, work out a little bit, get back into the routine and everything, come back from it. For uh, Drain, on the other hand, is it literally f just destroys your body and makes it where it just is not going to be able to rejuvenate back to where it was. Yeah, Force Lightning is more... Force Lightning... Is a more cruel thing for both sides of the... Force Lightning will drain your life essence out of you. But Palpatine literally didn't have, like... He, he should have, according to the way it worked, he should have been dead a long time ago from how much Force Lightning he uses. Oh, well, he's just that good with the Force Lightning. He just... When he learned about the Force Lightning, that's just all he learned about it, so he got more advanced with the Force li Lightning. But he's also really powerful, so he could endure that, but not as much. He's only got so much constitution. Like, literally. You only get so much constitution as a person. But not... Like, okay, so, and then he give, as the older you get, the less constitution you have. Because you get older, you get wore out, you get weaker. And so then he's an old man by that point. He's, he's an elderly man by that point. So he's got some con, like, permanent con drain to him anyway. Just by age, because he's a human, and just by age, he is physically less, you know, and, you know, he's physically, his body is less able to deal with stuff. So, then, he starts using Force Lightning, and Force Lightning corrupts the flesh and destroys your flesh and your body. And that's why he turns from a Palpatine that has, you know, regular colored skin to a Palpatine with gray, like, pasty, probably should be dead skin, because his body is literally, he's losing life. Every time he uses the force. Well, uh, the that one guy works. I was talking about in a previous episode, where he was staying alive through hatred, like his body was deteriorating, and he would be dead, but he was filled with so much hate that it was keeping him alive. That was the only thing that was keeping him alive. Yeah, that's the only thing I could say that would allow Palpatine to live is that he literally was existing off of the dark side of the force alone at that point yeah because at some point his body is not going to be able to sustain the usage it just ain't going to because it's going to constantly actually permanently drain his health yeah and nobody in the star wars galaxy has unlimited power they still get drained they still need time to recuperate their and he ability used he used force lightning on a ridiculous level 
Yeah, all the fucking time. Like, all he, the time. He, bar- he didn't even pick up his weapon. He just used lightning. Yeah, he enjoyed it. Yeah. But that's what he did all the time was force lightning. He would just go and he'd zap people and zap people and zap people and zap people. Do you and you'd use it a little bit. If you use it a little bit and then you don't use it again for a while and you use it a little bit, it's not going to cause that Yeah, in drain. moderation, it, it's not going to do But much. he overuses it. Oh, yeah. He was like a, a chain smoker. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Like, he literally didn't even say that. Like, he basically, that's how he, like, he thoroughly enjoyed what he did to people with Force Lightning. Do you think he was using it the Force Lightning? It him so much pleasure to cause them that kind of pain and to hear them squeal. Well, you know how they have the, uh, the Force Extract? They can take the Force out of you, how they, how Puppetkin did in the... Rise of Skywalker. Okay. Do you think he could do that with the lightning while he's shocking was, him? I think that was a fluke. But uh, to I, be honest with you, I think that whole thing was a fluke with the bond thing. I think he was just trying to take the bond away from him. Well, I think you can take the force like, out of. I think he like was that. just trying to take the bond away from him, and then realized what it could do, and. I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> nah, I start sucking it out of him like yeah, the freaking, like, the, like the, the douche off of Sausage Party. Because a guy, you know, if you have power, you want more power. So that's what he wanted, more power. He, seen, he felt the energy between the two and he wanted that. Yeah, he found like, I can um, heal his fingers. He's like, oh, yes, my eye. Give me, give me. Well, I guess he did find a way to immortality, kind of, sort of. He was like, mm-hmm. What? Yeah, that's what he was like. He figured out that he could heal his fingers. He's like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Barely healed. And he goes, and he goes, mm-hmm. He's like, you don't give me that, boy. He barely healed his fingers. And he went, he barely healed No, him. actually, he healed them up. Like, it shows it. They all heal all the way back up, like, full fingers, everything. Like, his hands were back to normal. But back to normal like he was before. Yeah. You know. But back to normal for him. Like, it wasn't dubbed off fingers anymore or anything like that. Like, it fixed his fingers. It healed him. And then he was like, oh, yeah, give me that. He sucks it out of him. Like, like I said, like the, the douche on the juice box. Sausage party. Oh, <laughs> that really like that a long time ago. And he left them laying there like, like empty husks. Yeah. And, and then so, he started coming to, and he's like, he said some shit about falling, and then he throws throw you down there, but whatever. Um. Okay. So we went over. We went over the names of some of the powers, or most of the names of the powers. Um. We went over, like where George Lucas actually came up with this concept of, like, the dark and the light side of the Force. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, when you die in the Force, your personality disappears, and your soul force goes back into the cosmic force, which is just the flowing force of everything. But Qui-Gon Jinn, he found a way to bring his personality back and bring his what you perceive him as shown because yeah. that's not really him it's just the idea that he's presenting to make you see what he well, wants yeah, to see but that's but that is him like why is he you know what I mean he's gonna choose his form yeah because that's what he was but in that way he doesn't he doesn't see people like living people as we do he only feels the connection of the force that they have or the connection that he had with the person to know who that person is. Yeah, well, apparently they do a really good job of being able to communicate then because he teaches Yoda how to do it and then Yoda teaches Obi-Wan how to do it and then Obi-Wan's sitting there on Dagobah with Luke and Luke's seeing him and Obi-Wan's acting like he totally and utterly is just chilling out with Luke on Yeah, he kind of perfected it while he died. Apparently. Apparently, wait a minute, man. All I got to say.
say is apparently like Obi Wan actually is the the sleeper badass, the sleeper badass Jedi of all of them. Like more powerful than it ends up more powerful than than Yoda and all the rest of them well, because he's like a super beast. Well, Qui Gon was looking for a way of the Force, or he was. He was in search of it, and he found that one planet with, like, the Sentinels or whatever, because you told us about the, Yoda. The Wills? The yeah. Wills, or the Yoda found the Wills. Yeah, but that's the same planet that Qui-Gon or whatever, that's what you were telling me. Did Qui-Gon go to the planet? I think he died, but then the Force was, like, teaching no. him how to be He was in learning, way. it even states in the thing, that he was learning how to do that, to go and become one with the Force. He was learning how to do that so he could become one with the Force and then be able to be a Force ghost. Yeah, but I don't think he was back. ready at that time. When he died, I don't, I don't think he was ready to... It took him a while when he was on the other side. He knew enough. It took him a while when he was on the other side to actually get it and he came okay. back. That's why he wasn't able to just show up when things were happening and yeah. really be able to change how things went until too late. It took him like three fucking movies after all the shit already broke loose. <laughs> But it was enough. <laughs> it was enough that he could at least save. He could at least teach it to Yoda, and Yoda could teach it to Obi Wan, and Obi Wan. Right at the end, right when Darth Vader just killed all the Jedi, and they went hiding. Yeah, that's I mean, why when we get all the other Jedi Force Ghosts, and then all the Force Ghosts come back and just <laughs> stomp it. and just stomp Palpatine and Vader out because they're Force Ghosts. What are you gonna do to them? <laughs> He's like, damn. He just waited till all that time. He's like. And apparently the Force Ghosts could totally manipulate uh, everything on your side. I mean, so they could just, like, take a lightsaber. A Force yeah. Ghost could just appear and just pull your lightsaber off your hip and ignite it right into your side. And just Do you slice think they could half. be living like us? Well, not living per se, but, you know, like... Oh, dude, I bet they totally... Just be walking around because... Well, it does take energy, but they are in the Cosmic Force, so they are just the Force, so when it... I bet, man, I bet they are on the other side just partying, homie. So that, was, that would just be endless supply of energy, so, yeah. I guess you could just be in a Force Ghost forever. Yeah. For people that can that's the whole point. you and know And that's them. the whole reason why Obi-Wan said, if you strike me down, you will make me more powerful than you could ever possibly imagine. Well, why do because they just he disappear? Knew, he knew by that point that you can kill me if you want. I'm going to go and I'm going to join the Force and I'm going to continue to live on as an immortal with yeah. the power that I have now. And Sith can't do that. They can transfer no, their Sith souls. Sith can have Force ghosts. Or they can transfer their souls to other people or transfer them into relics, but I don't think they have... No, Sith, Sith can have Force ghosts. There's, there's Force ghosts later, like... In, like, the legend stuff in the comics, like, Darth Kratos goes to talk to yeah, Force Yeah, but Legends ghosts. isn't canon. Legends is Legends. That's, 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 that was all stuff before Disney, so it's all counts to me. <laughs> it all counts to you. Well, in the Anything can- Disney after doesn't count. Well, in the canon universe, that doesn't count. It's part of the canon universe in mine. When it goes through the timeline... <laughs> through mine! <laughs> when it goes through the timeline, the timeline of the books stop. And then it turns into the comics. Yeah, in that timeline, yeah. In the timelines, it's in some of the backs of the books. Like, it runs through the timeline, and it goes all the way through, and then the books stop, because the authors haven't wrote any more of anything after that, or before this yet. And But the comic book people took over and started making stuff at that point, and so it falls in the line with the timeline. It doesn't mess with anything it doesn't go mess with anything or go against anything that, as far as I've seen, uh, in the regular canon, it's just like more of an extension to it. The only one that falls off the freaking wagon with what is correct to the whole timeline is Disney. They're the one that threw the monkey wrench. They destroyed the freaking thing. They're the only one that screwed it up. Everybody else pretty much went right on par with everybody else. Do you know uh, Disney uh, came in and said, no, we can do what we want. You know it says ghost? He sees them. Darth Kratos goes and talks to the Sith ghosts on, it might be Exegol or some other thing, but he goes, you have to go to like a, it's not like with the regular force. Oh, I guess where you like, can just see them anywhere. Well, I guess Exegol would be 
you have And that's to. also not true because uh, Hoth did have a, a sort of force in the planet, but not as much force. That's what they're saying. This is what I'm trying to say, is that you have the force all over, right? But there's always like a little dark spot somewhere. But the thing with that is, is basically where you could see the force ghosts of the previous Sith is on like a Sith sacred site. Yeah, like a Sith specific overworld. ones. Like Exegol would probably be a place you could see it. I think, uh, no, I was going to say Tyrannus, but that's. But name. you can go there and see. The Force Ghosts, and he tries to go there and talk to the Force Ghosts, and the Force Ghosts don't like him summoning them because Darth Kratos, they hate him because he broke the rule of two. Mm. And he started that army again, and he's called, they call him all kinds of fake and everything else. But, um, so yeah, like he, uh, you, they do have Force Ghosts, but it's like you can see them only in some places. Unlike the other ones where the Force Ghost could appear anywhere. More apt to appear in certain, like, specific locations that are more Force-oriented, yeah. like Dagobah, you know, whatever. Or when there's more, like, energy in the Force happening. But, there is, there is Force Ghost for the Sith. In Legends. We'll see if it, they come about. Disney has screwed it up until somebody goes and gets it from Disney and puts it back on well, track. Until they get it right. You don't get, you know, they're not going to get it right. If they could, For them to get it right, they got to go back and undo the three movies they made besides the other two that they made and then go back and redo all that according to the scripture. Because that's what I'm calling it now. It's all the scripture. Well, it's like the Old Testament and the New Testament. Legends is the New Testament, and the Old Testament's all the books. Everything else that Disney's doing is fucking jacked. <laughs> well, we're kind of stuck with it. Disney! The, uh, unless you Disney wanna, is Palpatine! <laughs> unless you just want to live with the six movies and just sit on, on an island with just your six movies. I can do that. <laughs> I got as long as I got the books. The books have been published out there. They're going to stay out there. You can always get the books. Uh, have you seen uh, Bad Batch? No. No? No. You should, you should see that. It's pretty good. It's sure. like right after Order 66. Sure. It's on uh, Disney Plus. No. It's like with the same animation as the Clone Wars. No. It's good. No. Gonna have to if we're gonna be talking about Star Wars the whole time. I'm not having Disney Plus. We gotta get I'm not new having material. Disney Plus. I'm not doing it. You can watch it and you can tell me all about it. Well then you're just gonna run out of things to talk about. Do you about. think I could run out of things to talk about? Oh yeah. With you, Star Wars. Really? Maybe, yeah, I don't know. Really? We're only on episode are you 100. Are you I'm, trying? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, man, we got to be wrapping it up here. Yeah. All right, this has uh, been the Sky River Cantina with Zan Rose and Dan the Man. And we'll catch you back next time for a new podcast. Catch your blood.